Hey everyone, this is Budget Tech Dad, and welcome back to another video on Chia. First, I just want to say thank you for everyone's support. Thank you for the likes and subs. If you like my past videos, please like and sub to me. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get on with the video today. Today's topic is, can this processor make a difference on your plotting? There's a reason for today's video is because um, when I was watching other YouTubers, their plotting time for one plot was much better than mine. And they have a very similar SSD, even exactly the same. So I started to question, like, how are they better? If it's not the SSD, then can it be the CPU, right? But when you look at, like, the CPU workload during the plot, it's really not a lot. I mean, this is, like, hovering around 30 and 40%. I can't really say it's bottlenecking it, right? So what can it be? I feel like it has to be the CPU for some reason. That's why I started testing my other workstation computers and also my gaming computer. So here's what I tested. So my main plotting computer is the Ryzen 7 2700. It gives me about 6.5 range. I tested my other workstation CPU, which is the 3900X, and that gave me about 5.6. But when I tested the 9900K, it gave me five hours. So I was very surprised at this result since like if you look at the specs here there's a huge difference i mean this is 12 core versus 8 core the base clock is not that much of a difference so i'm just surprised why such an improvement in time right but my suspicion is it's not about overall cpu performance scores and you can see here in past mark scores that you know 3900x is destroying these other two so how is it how is it not beating out the 9900k i think that's in the single thread scores right if you look at single thread it's definitely better than the 3900 and the 2700 so i think this is where the key is when you're picking out like a a processor so what's also interesting is i i did test on threads from two to six on all processors right all three processors and what's interesting here is if you look at they're saying that you know thread multi-thread is only used in phase one but if you look at phase two three and four here you can see this decline in time as you increase the thread counts which is kind of interesting but the decline here is a lot more for this intel processor than the two ryzen's because you can see here like this 2700 here is pretty much no improvement at all in phase three uh, there's very little here, but there's a good curve down here for the Intel. Same thing with here is there's there's just nothing improvement in phase four for the 2700. There's improvement in 3900X, but I think the improvement here is greater here in the 9900K. And you can see that in here as well. I do have the phase one here if you guys are interested in looking. It's crazy how well this Intel performs versus the other two Ryzen's when comparing the other three phases. All right, and the other interesting thing is, so the 9900K, I do two threads and I get five hours, right? But the 3900X needs to do five threads just to hit the five hour mark. So I think a lot of people are getting these high core, high thread um, processors because they could do more parallels. But at the same time, the Intel processor have better single thread performance and they could do it faster so what do you pick right would do you go with more parallels or do you go with faster plot i think there's a balance between the two um unfortunately i don't have the equipment to test that balance now the other thing i tested was you know let's just do it for the memes i guess and just crank out all the threads on on these two processors right um, I didn't do it all because I do need the rest of the other threads to do background stuff. So I did do um, 20 thread. First, I started with 20 thread on 3900. And surprisingly, it actually increased in time. And I, I was like, that's kind of weird. So I did 16 thread here and, I, and it's still not improving in time. And I did 10 threads in here and, I, and it finally matched the six thread performance. So, so it's just it's weird to see that the more thread you pour into it, the time actually increases so i think there's some kind of like overload i guess you could say it going on where it just it doesn't handle that many thread that well at the same time i did intel 9900k and i did 12 threads and it increased to 3.8 hours there is a small increase from you know 6 to 12 but it's not significant enough to be like i'm going to dedicate 12 threads to every time i plot so 
it's very interesting to see that there's improvement through the Intel, but not through um, the Ryzen 3900X here. So I would like to know in the comments, if, what is your best single plot time and what processor are you using? And can you beat the 3.8 hours that I have done during my tests? And one more thing is how I go about shopping for a, a CPU at this point with this data, right? So let's take a look at pass mark scores of single thread processors. So here we have pass marks, single thread performance scores. If, if I was to do it, so they do have this thing called price to performance. So if I was to shop for a processor right now for plotting, I think I would go for one of these higher scores. So this score is just a result of this number divided by the price. So for, you know, like if I was to pick out a CPU right now, I think this is amazing price here. You get six core, 12 threads um for 258 dollars but this and this is better performance than my 9900k also if you scroll down here you see this one's amazing for 200 dollars, same thing six cores 12 threads and it's just about the same as uh, my 9900k so um i hope this data helped you guys and um let me know your best times for one single plot happy plotting happy farming and i'll see you next time